but I have just checked my phone and it showed me that I had earned $500 passive income just like that. And actually every single month I receive $500, $500, $500. And this is only just one of those seven ways how you can make passive income. I'm going to explain you exactly how you can make passive income by these seven different ways. All you need to do is just go to... What is up you guys, it's Rob here and in this video I'm going to teach you seven different ways how you can make passive income anywhere in the world. Passive income means that you will make money even while you are sleeping or while you are laying down on the beach and enjoying the sunshine or spending time with your loved ones, with your girlfriend or with your kids if you have some kids. So this is something absolutely amazing and very excited. I was excited to create this video and I'm sure you will find this valuable. So let's start with number one. This is in my personal opinion the easiest way, literally the easiest way to make money, we make passive income online. And this is probably the first way how I also personally started making some passive income online. And it is called stock market investing. What it basically means is that you buy some shares of companies, for example, uh, Apple or Amazon or Google, and then you own a small piece of that company. And when the value of that company goes higher, you can cash out, you can own commission or every single year they pay some dividends so you will earn some passive income. Also many companies in the US, they pay dividends every four months. So let's say that you, every four months you get $100, $100, $100. All you need to do is just to invest some of these companies, put your money there and hold the shares. And there are a lot of websites where you can do this. Uh, you can just Google the best stock brokers uh, in, the, in your country, if you are living in the US, you can type best stock brokers in the US. If you are living in, for example, Germany, you can type in your own language to find the best stock brokers, then read the reviews, find the best ones. And before you start putting some money in, I recommend that you grab some, for example, two or three best sellers about stock market investing, so you understand the basics, how you can make money with this. Stock market investing is pretty simple. Uh, my personal recommendation is that you just uh, diversify your po portfolio, meaning that you buy several big ones uh, for a smaller amount of money and then you just hold them for life. So you just buy them and you keep them forever. You, do, you don't do trading, you don't buy and sell, you don't buy and sell, you just buy, you hold them forever. And this is not official investment advice, this is just my personal recommendation. So. Don't take it as a, like, you must do it immediately. This is just my personal opinion and a recommendation. It has proven the work over the time course. And that's also what, let's say, most successful investors seem to recommend. Also, Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, he says, for an average investor, the best way is just to buy so-called diversified mutual funds. So you buy a piece of a mutual fund, meaning, that uh, you get a small share of all the big ones. So you get some Apple, you get some uh, Google, you get some um, Amazon, you get a small piece of everything by investing in this kind of mutual fund. So this was just a very short description. What is stock market investing? How you can get started? I recommend that you research more, but this video is all about giving ideas how you can make passive income. And stock market investing is definitely the easiest way. The only thing you need to do is Click a couple of times and then you can start earning some passive income. The drawback is that you probably need some capital to get started. And the second thing is that if you want to earn a lot of money, you also need a lot of money. And the income is not so high compared to these other resources that I'm going to explain you in a moment. So stock market investing in the long term, it's not very risky. In the long term, it seems that things just go up and up and up over the time course. If you take a look at last 150 years, you see that things are going up and up all the time. The second one is more riskier, that's called cryptocurrencies. I have invested in cryptocurrencies already since 2015. Uh, as you have seen, they have gone up and up and up, but sometimes they have been crashing. So cryptocurrency is much more riskier than stock market investing, but there you can also make much higher returns. For example, my record back in the days, I made like 50,000 euros in two months. However, 
I didn't sell it. I sold some of it. Then I bought some risky cryptocurrencies and I lost almost that whole 50,000 euros quite fast. So that's what can happen. So that example really illustrates to you how much you can make and also lose with cryptocurrency. So be careful. Uh, if you would ask for my opinion, where should you invest in cryptocurrencies? Because there are so many different ones. My recommendation would be buy Bitcoin, hold it for long term and then never sell it basically. S sell it when the value is like 1 million per 1 Bitcoin or something like that. If you want to earn passive income with cryptocurrencies, there are also some of them, for example, Bankera that I'm holding myself that pays you some dividends or for example, Binance coin. So they have a cryptocurrency about their crypto exchange and every time somebody uses their exchange, every time somebody uses their platform, their website, you earn some small commissions for that. And there are also some other types of cryptocurrencies where you can earn passive income. Some of them are very simple, some of them are complicated. My recommendation is that if you don't understand how it works, don't invest. If you understand and you feel it's good, that you, you, you understand the basic and you, you make the research, do the research, then you can invest, but make sure that you understand. But the cryptocurrency is something very volatile. You can make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. But this is one of our seven passive income ideas. The third one I want to mention, which is much more stable. Like if you want to earn stable income that grows and grows and grows, grows. Basically every single money you start earning more. It's affiliate marketing and I am also doing it myself. That's my main source of income currently. It means that you will make money by promoting someone else's product. And how you can do this automatically is for example writing blog posts or creating videos and when somebody clicks your link and buys something you will earn a commission. So for example I have a YouTube channel, I have lots of videos there. Every time somebody clicks the links and goes and buys something, I earn a commission. Or I have a blog post where I have more than 700 blog posts there on my blog. And every time somebody goes there, clicks something and buys something, I earn a commission for that. So you can earn money while you are sleeping or doing whatever you want. I learned affiliate marketing through the community called Wealthy Affiliate and afterwards I have honed my skill, learned even more uh, through the training called Legendary Marketer. And I got started as a complete beginner and I learned to make a living online with affiliate marketing and I have seen that anybody can do it. So that's definitely one something very interesting and inspiring. The benefit with affiliate marketing is also that you have full control. With stock market, you cannot really control like what happens there, things may go up or they go down or cryptocurrencies, they, they may do basically everything in the world. With affiliate marketing, you control. You can control what you promote, you can control where you promote it, how much you promote, what do you do. You have full control over your income. If you want to earn more, you can just do more. So with affiliate marketing, I like that you can really control your income. So that's one of the biggest benefits and also the income potential is huge once you start doing and learning. So I leave you a link in the description where you can learn more about it. The next one that I want to mention is called real estate investing. And that's also what I mentioned you in the intro, uh, mentioning that every single month I get $500 to my bank account just by checking out my phone because I have bought an apartment in Finland, in my home country, and every single month the tenant pays me the rent and I earn money for that like this. And the more apartments you buy, the more money you will earn like this. Of course, you will need to pay some costs for maintaining the apartment. But I would say that real estate investing is one of the most popular ways in the world to earn passive income. It's like passive income 101 or let's say old school because it's so popular. It has been there for years or even hundreds of years. You buy an apartment and then you rent it to somebody else. Or let's say you uh, buy an office space and you rent it to company and you earn money for that. And the benefit with this one is that once you have done, like bought the apartment and then you have rented it to somebody, then it's easy. Like it takes some effort to research the apartment, research the area and do all this kind of stuff. This takes effort, but once you have bought it, once you have somebody living there and paying the rent, then it starts to become easy. One drawback with the real estate investing is of course that it requires more capital because you cannot just buy uh, without money something. You need some money 
and uh, usually you will need to go to the bank and ask for a loan also uh, for financing and for the bank you may need some let's say cash to show that uh, you can you can pay part of the apartment so let's say for people who are broke this is not the best way but once you start earning some money then this can be a great way to earn some more passive income little by little and of course with real estate investing because now we are usually talking about some bigger money i recommend that you research uh, very well before you get started to you do your research and then you study you learn you ask from some let's say more experienced people and then you start doing because otherwise you may just lose money in bad deals on the other hand i would also say just get in the game because that's how you learn any of these seven ways to make passive income you just get in the game you start doing and then you start learning by doing but with the real estate the mistakes that you make they will be more expensive so that's why i recommend that you research very well before you get started especially research your area where you want to buy it and, and uh, compare the prices calculate uh, the apartment calculate the cost calculate the income because professional real estate investors they say that purchases they are made with a calculator they are not made with the heart or mind or something abstract like this you make purchases with your calculator you calculate that everything works well and then you buy it and then you rent it further and then you start earning this passive income that's how it works in a nutshell thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video have a wonderful wonderful day